everybody, it's Charlotte here. Welcome back to a brand new video on this channel. And I want to do, um, I've been actually planning on doing this for a very while. And I'm going to be reacting to a coming out video that I did about a year and a half ago. And keep in mind, this coming out video was actually a coming out video as a cross-dresser. I did not know I was transgender yet. So there's going to be some things I say in this video that's just really, I contradict myself like crazy uh, later on. So please understand that. It's just crazy. By the way, the the video is actually going to be um, this one that says coming out as I'm a cross-dresser or whatever. And it is going to definitely be on uh, on private again, but you guys can see it on this channel. So um, it's, it's kind of... Uh, I, I, see, I was watching my videos and I decided to see this one after like who knows how long. I haven't watched it since like it came out, and it was so fucking cringy. I didn't I didn't watch the whole thing, but I think we're gonna watch a little bit of it since it's like 21 minutes, and I really don't want to watch the whole thing for you guys. So we're gonna see. We're gonna talk. We're gonna watch this cringy beginning, and then we're also going to. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I look like at the beginning of my transition. Okay. All right. Let's get it started. Hello, everybody. Odyssey here. Come at you guys with a video. I am actually. So, okay, so that segment is in my, my channel. I'm on my way to work right now. Oh my god. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a little secret of mine that's not really a secret anymore, but, you know, why not? You guys see how low my voice is? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just kind of like, I don't mind wearing eyeliner. Oh my god, it's such a... Oh my god, the way I'm I used to work, work right now, and... And, uh, honestly, I don't want to go to work. I really don't. I just... Ugh, I just don't want to work anymore for somebody else. It's still so not mentality. However, um, I want to make this video for you guys because one, I haven't uploaded in a long time. Two, because you guys deserve to know the truth. And three, because I want to start up a new uploading schedule for myself. Because I, I did get an Elgato like a while back and I made like one video off of it and I'm like, wait a second, I got this Elgato, I need to use it now. And then I might be getting an Xbox One soon. So, to play and get oh some God, my warfare and stuff like that. So for now, I'm going to be playing like Black Ops 2, Black Monster 3. I'm sorry guys, I know that those games are like really out of date now. Like, nobody really plays them. I mean, people do play them, but not for videos really anymore. And I understand that. Uh, and I'll, I'll grind out those games while I can. I might make a final montage of them, but I really, really want to get into the new cause because... I think that would be the best. Okay, I'm just talking about video games. Anyways, Come on. what you guys came here to see is what my um, secret is. Anyways, when I was 10 years old, I was, let's just say, very, very experimental with um, my life. You know, not like he's in. I, let it out, like let it out, Charlie. Uh, Two. Um, Exploration. I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, not not too crazy, oh but you know, I like to explore. You know, stuff. You know. Um, but when I was ten years old, I found out that I had liked women's clothing. And I don't know why it is, and I really don't. And it's something like it's like something like you know, being gay. You can't really say you're not, and you like someone that's a guy. You can't really hide it because it's like it's part of you. you it's what you feel, it's what you think, it's how you act. So, you know, and just to let you know I'm not gay. So, no, I'm not gay, not at all. I don't... That's, not gay. You know, I don't... Nothing, not gay. nothing bad about gay people, but for me, I'm gonna be honest, I, um... Hold up. I need to put air in my tires, actually. But, um... I'm glad I'm not gay because I just... I like women. I always find interest in women, but um, I figured out. Well, I was a crossdresser. Now, did I ever enforce this on my life? Not really. I didn't really enforce being a crossdresser at all. I didn't dress up or anything. But in my mind, and in my thoughts, I had this this look at life as I kind of want to dress up. And you know, I always, uh, I was uh, watching a lot of uh, 
cross dresser stories or and coming out stories and stuff like that. And these people always said something that really kind of related to my life. And they said, well, I would try on makeup and I would do this. And when people were gone, I would do that. Well, I would put on clothes. Guys, this is the cringiest fucking days. I cannot believe how cringy this video actually is. I put out some of my good information back then, but I think a lot of my transition actually has, has taught me a lot more about who I really am. Because this time, I kind of just kind of got the notion of what I was and who I was. I just did not know how to express it and how it would probably change throughout time. That's how everything works, right? I actually, I actually was, was like that, that but I wasn't like, like that every day, day. you know, I was, I was like, like that like maybe once in a, in a blue moon, moon. Uh, um, so, so for, for me, I, I found similarity and I realized maybe, maybe that is, is me, maybe, maybe that's, that's what I've been doing, maybe that's what I've been, uh, uh, I am, and it didn't happen until this, uh, Halloween, you guys know Halloween just passed, um, I was planning on dressing like a girl. I haven't dressed out for Halloween since like 2011. And that was like a girl back then with my friends. Um, then it was just a kind of like a joke. I really didn't, I didn't go all out like I did this year. But when I was dressing up, something like hit me. You know, I was like, I like this and I felt like I was holding on something back when I wasn't. I had a very strong feeling of, of, um, something else happening in my life and I just if I didn't do anything about it it was going to continue to scream at me that's how I was feeling dressed like that and then I was kind of like telling people oh no it's just for Halloween because at that time yeah I was thinking yeah it was just for Halloween but for some reason I had that little guilt thing in my mind saying this isn't just you know for that and and that's whenever I kind of like figured out oh come on don't run into me bro Okay, oh, awesome <laughs> errors in my tires. Out of all okay, the things I can say. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna go put some air in my tires. And just like that, I'm back on the road. Um, anyways, where I was at was I was trying to say, um, I was those going brows through are so stuff fast. that I guess all, all oh my the other God. processors were going through. And that was kind of like fa finding fascination in, you know, dressing up in women's clothing. When I say I, I like to do it, it doesn't mean that I just start grabbing everybody's clothing and just put them on and all that stuff. I was just low-key, I liked it. And, you know, I, I, it didn't go through my mind at all for like years, guys. Years until now. Like, I don't know if it's because I have a lot more freedom as a man, as an adult, to, to do what I want. I did not just say that. What the hell did I do? I did not just say as a man. What the hell was I thinking? <laughs> oh my god. It's crazy how my- And um, I don't know what it is. And a lot of cross searches, if you guys don't know, there's different kinds. There's, there's ones that are gay, there's guys that think they're supposed to be a girl. And then there's people like me that just do it. And then there's people that do it for show. And then there's people that do it for like, you know, prostitution. I do I it stri strictly because, because it makes me it makes feel, feel good, good and it and also it gives also me like a like second like personality. personality. I'm, I'm not saying I'm not that, saying that I, act I act different whenever, whenever I, do. I do. I don't try I to give myself a girl voice. I'll try to talk soft and all that stuff. Other than that, like I don't think I'm someone else. Just to let you guys know, oh god, I just dress like a girl sometimes, and I finally have freedom to express that. And you know, I never knew what it was like to come out of anything to tell anybody about any of this stuff. Until, until like, like and I realize now, now that, that man so man, much so weight is off my shoulders shoulder because I have nothing to support right now. Obviously I'm not gonna this on YouTube, I'm probably gonna get a lot of either a lot of hate or you know some support too. Hopefully you guys come to accept you know the decisions I have made. But with all new things comes great responsibilities, I guess. comes great you know opportunities to make new things. So I decided to do a feed me episodes or uh, episodes or you know videos that include me as a girl and me as a guy. Uh, All right, so this is what I actually started showing off as. We're gonna finish off with this. Screen the other side. We're fast forwarding it. Yeah. This is how I used to look. 
Yeah. I had a very raggish wig. Maybe. I'm talking like pubic hair wig. Live commentaries with it was me, a like Halloween wig. Everyone else is out. Yeah, okay. Um, like I said, I obviously am still trying to learn how to do makeup. I'm gonna have a couple people do makeup for me. And uh, stuff like that. Alright, so you guys get the gist of what that video is. It's it's very cringy at its, at its most, and I contradict the shit out of myself a lot because of what's happened, um, where I'm at in life now. But I think I had to experience coming out as a crossdresser for me to understand there was much more to me than just being a crossdresser. I knew there was something more, but deep inside, I only wanted to accept crossdressing because I felt like I think it was me looking towards what are others going to think about me? What are they going to say? And hopefully I'm a cross dresser so I can just change who I am in front of them. And it didn't work out. Quickly things changed and I was so uncomfortable just being a guy and a girl. At the same time when I just wanted to be better and the where I felt better at and that was being a woman. So, um, and that thus started my transition. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I mean it was very cringy for me to put this on here. And uh, if you guys did like the video, leave it a like. If you're new to the channel, uh, you want to become a shout here, subscribe. And uh, go check out all my social medias down in the description below. And um, yeah, if you guys want to find my book too, it will also be in the description. I love you guys lots like tear tots. I'm Mama Shara and you guys are my Charlotte tears. Bye.